Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we had taken the Imperial City. Part 2. Azure Moon. Verdant Rain Oh, and Gatelgar turned herself into a monster. Oath of the Dagger. Get expositing. After storming the streets of Enbar and bringing Imperial forces to their knees, the Kingdom Army surrounds the Imperial Palace. But the enemy that awaits them there is not the Edelgard they once knew. Yeah, we can't, we, I kind of saw that. Losing units. Yeah, that's why I play on casual. Because I'm being a scrub. We have annihilated Enbar's army. If we strike her down now, this war will finally be over. I imagine she intends to keep fighting until the bitter end. If this is the end she has chosen, it is my responsibility to see it through with her. Isn't that so, Emperor of Adrestia? We have no choice but to destroy each other. Such is the destiny we were born to. That is why I will now rise up to answer her iron will with the bite of my lance. I will protect you at all costs. We will both live to see tomorrow, your majesty. <laughs> if the king falls here, that would mean my father's and brother's deaths were in vain. For Lenato, Kristoff, everyone, I will not lose. Well, if I were to die now, I'd have a lot to explain to my brother. All will be okay. I know we can win. I won't falter, no matter who we're facing. For all those who have lost their lives in this war, we cannot lose. Let's win this. For victory. For glory. To our final battle. They are here. But my progress cannot be stopped. No matter how many people try. The war's end will spell destruction for one of us. There can only be one ruler of the world. Well, that sure as fuck ain't you. Edelgard, what have you done? Oh, the music's good. There is a treasure room. I'm gonna go for that. Couldn't figure that out. Okay. Make sure everyone's stocked up. When Willa and Sedith are still on standby. I just want to make sure everyone's got health.
Edelgard must be in the throne room. Strange. The mages don't seem to be wearing their usual Imperial uniforms. We cannot allow our grand ambition to be my stopped sin. by these beasts. Yeah, uh, this is my second attempt at this. This guy has got to go. Ready when you are. I'll cut through. Leave it to me. I am prepared. What's my strategy? What's the plan? So I'm going this way first. I'm your girl. I'd be honored. Let's go. That's his range. And he's got a spell that reduces people to one hit point. Dangerous stuff. Onward. At your service. My orders. You shall be obliterated. I will take you out so fast you will not have a chance to lament. I guess I can go ahead and show you her range. Pretty much just the entire map. You know, nothing major. I was just stronger. No way I can lose here. A threat eliminated. This could turn the tides. Turn this world to mortal hands. May that filthy race of beasts wither and die. Don't blame me.
Lady Rhea. Wait a second. I have friggin' Onward. Gambit. Oh, that's a big heal. Ready when you are. What's my strategy? <laughs> All is going to plan. Oh, wow, thanks. I'll cut through. It was meant to be. Leave it to me. Be appreciated. Okay. Give me now. I'll take it. Thank you so much. Was the only way. You make me feel safe. I'm your girl. I'll take you down here and now for the sake of the new dawn. Predictable. Too slow. Take this. Bless. Is that it? At your service. You're a big help. You're annoying. Stronger. Mycin! Everyone retreat! We cannot sacrifice our goal! Let him go. The mages are retreating. So, they weren't Imperial troops after all. Stop yammering. We must advance, Boar. I say let them go. They're of no use to me. I got the main threat out of the way, but it did cost me units. Yeah! Quite helpful. And that there is why I play on casual. Let's because the go. game hates me. What's the plan? And you know, I suck. I'm a scrub. I'll, I'll admit to being terrible at this game. Just be careful. 
Allow me to demonstrate! <gasps> I must lead them well. There is still room. Never doubted you. I can't move. Now you open with a crit. Good boy. I've got you. No. Double crit. Steal myself. That's not where your quiver is, Ash. I'm get I expect no less. Voices from the low. Maybe if we. Yeah. Oh, not good. I need to pull him out. No! Never mind, you pulled yourself no. out. Here is something to believe. No! This could turn the tides. One side at a time. Wait, Ballista dude. Yeah, she's in range. Ready when you are. Dismount. Oh wait, no, you're fine. You have that shield. Forgot. Uh -huh. Talk about a waste. Whoa, hold on a second. Meteor only gets one use. my strategy. I'll cut through. Unequip that hero's relic. Oh, thank you for the miss. Oh 
wait, no, they're re the mages are retreating. That's good. Be careful. It won't be in vain. Just be careful. You're a big help. Not quite. Huh. Too slow. Could turn the tides. I'll cut through. Let's see you dodge this. Ah! It is done. Sorry. We're doing good. Better keep up. So come. Might. Okay. Shut up. 
Damn it all! Fuck! Shit! Damn it! It's getting my turn already. Not what I meant to do. Just give me my frickin' turn. At your service. Thanks. I'll cut through. Just be careful. I'm your girl. I owe you one. What's the plan? Could have opened with a crit, man. All for our future. Looking good. Onward. I'd be honored. So come. Not quite. I chose to heal him instead. To me. On my own. On to the next battle. I could learn from that. What's my strategy? Thanks. Ready when you are. It's my duty. Nice try. 
I Damn it. It's okay, I can work with this. Really? Hey! Felix! He's the Dodge Boy! He hit with a 35 hit chance. You are better than that. He had an excuse. You took me lightly. I swear it wasn't in vain. Allow me to death. It won't be in vain. Well met. Well done. I was just stronger. I got you. I won't falter. Knew you could do it. Yeah. Just be careful. I'm still here. There really wasn't anything good in those chests. So cut. I will end this now. It's my duty. Thank you. The situation is dire. I'll end this quickly. I aim for greatness. Good work. A meteor has two uses. But you're the only one that has... But you only got one more use on it. Oh, 
I don't like that. Damn it! my strategy. I owe you. Leave it to me. Bring him in. Too slow. I want Dimitri alive. Too slow. Well, that was the last use of Meteor. I'd be honored. What's the plan? At your service. Aren't the mages supposed to be retreating? Don't bother haunting me. I will not die here. Thanks for the help. You're a big help. These fools are caught up in the sacrifices of hand. I cannot see the future ramifications at stake. We must bury them. We must trample the past underfoot and move onward to a brighter tomorrow. It was the only way. Obvious. In the name of just good crit follow up. It's my duty. I will if she would have dodged, man. So, that grotesque creature was Edelgard. If she is prepared to transform her very body to fight for this future of hers, then I have no choice but to defeat her, even if it costs me my life. We must defend the present. After all, it is all that we truly have. Hate me if you must. What's the plan? Foolish.
faith in you, I grow weak. That is what lies at the end of the ideals you serve so diligently. I have no pity for one such as you. If that is the future you hoped for, then you deserve no compassion. You get yeah, I forgot you moved twice. Yeah, that's completely fair. Much needed. But she's focusing Dimitri, that's interesting. Sorry, Edelgard, but you leave me with no choice. It's over. You're one tough broad, I'll give you that. Wow, that's kind of sad, Edelgard. Quite helpful. I didn't mean to skip that. It's force a habit. Time to finish this. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> On the second attempt at that. Edelgard, it is over. Clash at the Imperial Capital. You're still alive? No! Ah! <clears throat> Did the dagger pierce his armor? Just his shoulder. <laughs> Just his shoulder. It's flesh wound. He'll live. That's... That's heavy shit.
It's over. A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlan. The long reign of the Adrestian Empire finally met its end when the imperial capital, the city of Enbar, collapsed. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. With Fodlan united as the holy kingdom of Fargus, Archbishop Rhea, still weak from her imprisonment, stepped down from her position. The Church of Saros began to take the needed steps to reorganize. Prince Dimitri formally ascended the throne, beginning his reign as the king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, which now included former alliance and imperial territories. Texts from the time claim that the one who guided the king as he sought to create a world free from oppression became the new Archbishop of the Church of Saros. She did leave it to him. And that is the Blue Lion there story. You are. I apologize for the short notice. But I'm so glad you could make it. I'm sure you're very busy being the hero of Fodlan and all. I still have some time. What a relief. I have to ask you something, but I'd hate to inconvenience you. Do you mind hearing me out? I'd be happy to. Ah, great. Here it is. I'm going to Ferdia to meet with my adoptive father. And I'd like you to accompany me. What is it for? I feel the need to set things straight with him, in my own way. I've already decided exactly what I'm going to say. I'm choosing to live my life how I want, in pursuit of my own happiness. I need you to accept that. I'm in charge of my own destiny, not you, not anyone else. Just me. Ah, I've waited so long to say all that. Well, why do you need me to accompany you? That's a very good question. Where do I start? Remember when I teased that I'd fallen for you? The truth is, that wasn't entirely in jest. I fell for you some time ago. In fact, I'd very much like to spend my life with you. Of course, that's only if you'll have me. I had something similar in mind. Oh my goodness! Yes! Let's! You've no idea what this means to me. This may be the happiest I've ever been. I'm so glad I could finally express my feelings. Now we can live the rest of our lives together. To think, I was able to choose this path of my own volition, and now I get to walk it with you. <laughs> Should one person be allowed this much happiness? But still, you're only given one life. Are you sure you want to spend it with me? I may be quite demanding at times, as I intend on pursuing my dreams. I want to help those in need, wherever they may be, and I won't give up on that. I support you. I I'm thought sorry. that's what you might say. Perhaps that's why I fell for you. It's just the way you are. All right, let's be off. It's no short journey to Ferdiad. Oh, something to note. Yes? You should know that I can be quite scatterbrained and clumsy. That is Annette's thing. But I will do everything in my power to help and support you too, whatever you may need. 
What a wonderful life we will lead together. That's nice. How about now? Yep. That was Fire Emblem Three Houses. Well, the Blue Lions chapter, anyway. After all, I still have Black Eagles and the Golden Deer to complete. And I'll be doing the Black Eagle House next time. Good game. It's great, in fact. I have a better idea on how I can manage myself and my time when I do the other houses, so I won't be near as idiotic and unorganized as I was in this initial playthrough. This really is a good game. I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad I pre-ordered it. It was well worth the money. If you haven't played this game yet, why? Why haven't you played this game yet? It's it's fantastic. I'm glad I was able to enjoy play this with you guys and join me next time on this game as we pick up the Black Eagle House. I'm not even sure what else to say. President Lyndon B. Johnson owned an amphibious vehicle and would scare his guests by driving into a lake screaming about brake failure. That's just mean. I love him. I love that. Going on, if I had an amphibious vehicle, I would do the same thing. Okay, we're getting stuff here. Shortly after the war, Shamir gave up the mercenary life and disappeared. Though she was never heard from again, rumors swirled presently for years about a master archer turned thief. Setith. Setith remarried at the monastery and worked hard to restore the authority of the Church of Saros. Doing away with his old strictness, he adopted tolerant stance toward all. His encouragement of believers, respect, I can't read this in time. Manuela. Manuela left Garag Mok to build her own academy in a small, war torn town. There, she contributed heavily to rebuilding efforts while teaching future generations the necessary skills of survival. Though she never married or had children of her own, she spent the last years of her life happily devoted to her students. Catherine. When Rhea resigned her position of Archbishop and left the Church of Saros, Catherine followed. She devoted herself wholly to Rhea's protection, and the two lived a life of quiet seclusion. Though Thunderbrand remained always by her side, she came to known the difficult by the name of the Guardian Zanato. Flame! Slumbering Princess. Flame disappeared soon after the war, and over time it was all but forgotten that she had ever existed. Many long years later, However, a young woman resurfaced in a completely transformed Bodlin. When she looked to her man, the suicider, she wondered if it would be all right. Damn it! I need to read faster. Gilbert returned to Ferdiad and resumed his duty as a knight, faithfully serving King Dimitri for many years. When he retired, it is said he spent the rest of his days coaching the young prince in the art of combat. Cyril. Not able to save Rhea, Sir Rhea, any longer, Cyril nearly left the church. He was persuaded to stay, however, to a mist in rebuilding the monastery. He helped. He had helped maintain thanks to the devoted ethic work ethic of the officers' academy, which reopened years later. 
and he found himself among them. Dedu. As a loyal vassal, Dedu dedicated his life to supporting King Dimitri throughout his entire reign. After tending to his liege on his deathbed, Dedu returned to his post at Dimitri's grave on the edge of Ferdiad. There it is stood. What? What? Uh. No, 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 don't go to sleep. As Margrave Gautier Sylvain devoted his life to improving relations with the people of the Seren region with Orin and Shalom, he succeeded in helping create a new way of life for nobles in which relics and crests were no longer viewed as necessary. Good. Oh, and these two are a couple, yay! After the war, Ash was formally knighted and appointed the new head of House Gaspard, which had no successors. He married Annette, and the couple's combined tenacity, intelligence, and courage proved more than a match for the many difficult things they were faced governing. Together, they helped Gaspar territory flourish more than it ever had before. I'm so happy. <laughs> Felix and Ingrid? Interesting. Although the, after the war, Felix inherited the title of Duke Faldarius from his late father, Rudri, he married Ingrid, the daughter of Count Galtaia, and the couple spread no expense, spared no expense in restoring both their territories, paying special attention to Galatea's desperate need for food and funds. Some years later, there was an attack on the castle town, and the Duke lost the use of his sword arm from an injury sustained protecting his wife. That, that sounds about right. After his coronation, Dimitri spent his life reforming and ruling justly over Fodman. He focused par particularly on improving living situations for orphans and improving foreign relations. He is known for listening frequently to the voices... Damn it, I, can't, I cannot read this fast enough. I lost my place. And Seraph and Mercedes. Seraph announced his marriage to Mercedes shortly after being named Archbishop to the Church of Seros. Mercedes took on duties as a cleric and through that work ensured that the church offered special support to children who had lost their families due to war. The couple was said to mingle frequently among the people, working up a sweat. Damn it, I didn't read it fast enough. Well, that is but one story in this game. There's two more to be told. So join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Are you serious? Fire Emblem Three Houses as I do the Black Eagle House. But until then, I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off, gonna let the credits roll. Oh, and it's not just Cassandra Lee Morris in this game from Persona. There's quite a few Persona vo English voice actors in this game, including the voice of Igor, doing Geralt, for just one example. Ooh, it's really pretty. beloved place silver shines the world dines a smile on each face as joy surrounds comfort abounds and i can feel i'm breaking free for just this moment lost in time i am finally me yet still i hide behind this mask that i have become
chase your shadow I don't feel a single drop or the ground below then you turn to me and I stop before I know and the lie upon my lips I Strong.